All right, y'all, it's your boy AGP here. Now, y'all know I told y'all I was coming back with another informational video. So here we are today with that informational video that I was talking about. I was looking up different stuff. Didn't really know well what article. There's always news. There's always news of video games. The world is growing. The amount of people who play them is growing. So it takes time to pick an article and, you know, just kind of go with there or a few articles. You feel me? But anyways... So y'all saw the title. So today is February 24th and Microsoft Microsoft did something crazy. They did something beautiful. They did something nice. They did something sexy. The point is, um, they've come up with this new uh, feature for Xbox Series X called Smart Delivery. If you don't know what Smart Delivery is, what it is is that Microsoft has made it so technically now you don't have to buy two versions of a game if you bought it on Xbox One already and it's gonna be on Xbox Series X as well you don't have to buy them twice I'm gonna tell you why that's sexy and it actually goes back to the all, all the way backwards compatibility but we'll get there in a sec the point is that's tough the reason why is because one we've all been asking for that forever we're always like why am I buying two versions of the same damn game there's no new story there's no new features, there's no new anything except for graphics and other fun, maybe frame rate, obviously, because it's a, it's the next generation of consoles. But it's nothing where you should buy a game for $65 and buy it for $65 again, the same game, just because it looks nicer. Okay, that's, that's just silly, and we need to cut it out. You heard. And when I say you heard, I'm talking to all the companies, you heard it here. Knock that off. Knock that shit off knock it off but look that's tough now the reason why that's tough is because what microsoft has said so far is that all the exclusives for xbox one or really just xbox exclusives in general is that there will be a lot of xbox series x versions of the game now which is really tough so an example would be halo infinite right let's say halo infinite comes out on xbox one once you buy it on xbox one you do not have to buy it on xbox series x yeah yeah congratulations so you buy it for xbox one don't have to buy another copy for xbox series x it'll literally just optimize to the xbox series x features or i should say specs if anything you know the graphics will get better the frame rate will get better and you don't have to pay anything extra that is that's tough it's going to be the same for gears 5 they've said now i know y'all over here like usually he's a sony guy he's on playstation look i'm a video game guy okay when i was younger i had an xbox and a ps2 okay i used to play them both a lot and when these new systems come out i'd like to get them both it'll probably be over a grand and i'll look stupid and my parents will probably snap me and it, it doesn't matter i might get jumped at the next family reunion but that's 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 neither here nor there the point is that's tough so that means that if there was any game on xbox one or even xbox well let me not say xbox 360 i'm i'm gonna say because they've said that the xbox 360 games they said it works for all of the games uh yeah just to clarify they meant anything that's remastered whether it's from the original xbox to the xbox 360 to the xbox one to the xbox series x now will be an xbox series x version so if it's remastered from any of the previous generations for the xbox series x it'll be an xbox series x version okay all right uh back to the video yeah but at the end of the day it's not really going to work for all the games, I will have to say. I don't think that that's possible because there are games that don't have data that can really fully back up the specs that are coming with the Xbox Series X. Like, at the time, an Xbox 360 came out, or the original Xbox came out, ran at such a lower frame rate, or had, had different um, graphics, it's not going to be able to... Unless you create a whole new version of that game, I, I feel like there's a ceiling there and it can only go so far. But, I mean, it's still really nice to have. It's nice of them to think of us, <clears throat> you know, it's really nice of them to think of us. Now, as beautiful as this is, y'all, there is a catch. There's actually two parts to this catch, but I'll start with the first part because one comes before two. The first part of the catch is that the games will probably have to be digital copies. Yeah, so that kind of sucks. Now, obviously, because I think it makes it easier for that feature or for that technology to be compatible with it, Microsoft, by the way, has not 
said whether or not it had to be digital copies, but the way it sounds with the description of what it is, it's probably going to have to be a digital copy, which is not the worst thing in the world. A lot of people are going moving in that direction anyways. There's so many more there's digital copies of every game now, so you know, it's not the craziest thing, but what it'll probably do is if you buy Halo Infinite or Gears 5 on Xbox One through the store, through the online store, then you'll have it for your Xbox One and it'll be on your profile and whatever account you're signed into. And then when you get your Xbox Series X, right, you go to the store and you'll see the same game, Halo Infinite, Gears 5, but it'll just say install. That's dope, okay? Because that, 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 that will be more than likely how this works. Now, that's dope because that means that, like, you don't have to pay anything extra and you get the best version of the game that you paid $65 for, which is how it should be. You shouldn't have to pay 65 again, once, and then twice, end up paying $130 for the same game. It doesn't make any sense. The, the, the difference isn't, it's just, it's just not enough. Now, the second part of the catch is that not every company has to agree to do to make their game compatible with this feature so in other words if somebody decided to drop something like Watch Dogs 3 right Ubisoft let's say Watch Dogs 3 comes out on Xbox one they don't have to make it so that the digital copy once you buy it on wa buy Watch Dogs 3 on on Xbox one that um, it'll be that it'll be free on Xbox Series X when you get that system they don't have to do that <clears throat> It kind of sucks, but it's also like, I mean, we can't force you to do anything, but Microsoft is being cool in the sense that they're urging people to do this because they're making all of their exclusive games, all of the Xbox games are going to be that way. So like all the, so all the Halos, the Gears, whatever other exclusive that Xbox gets, they will have those. Now, you know, it, again, you know, it's, it's, it's great, but you know, it's, it's, it, it sucks that you, you know, you can't. You know, because then if a company decides that, then you will have to pay for the game twice if you want to have it on the next system. Most people probably don't care. I wouldn't personally. If I buy it on the last system, I guess I'm just taking that L until it goes. Me, maybe I'll pay if it goes on discount. <sighs> yeah, that that just happened. I said if it goes on discount, then I okay. Um, I meant to say if it goes on sale. Yeah, if it goes on sale, not if it goes on discount. That's 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 incorrect and I have money later down the line and I'll buy it again just if I liked it enough and played it on the new system to see if it's better or to see if I like it better but you know that's 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 the unfortunate part about the catch now even though we have that catch essentially what you're doing is future proofing your purchase so you know if you buy a game for Xbox one it's not like you're getting the backwards compatibility version on the Xbox Series X. You're actually getting the Xbox Series X version of the game without paying extra, which is very nice. I mean, again, that's how it should be. Paying two times for the same game makes no sense. And to end on a, on a, on a good note, you know, on a, on a good note with this info is that if you guys are waiting for Cyberpunk 2077, it's coming out on both systems. Yeah, it's coming out on the Xbox One and Xbox Series X. There will be versions of both. And guess what CD Projekt Red did to make y'all even happier, or us, I should say, because I do want the Xbox Series X as well as the PS5. They have already committed to making this the case for Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah. I know. Clap it up. Uh -huh. Yep. So, Cyberpunk 2077, it'll probably come out before Xbox Series X and PS5 drop. So if you get it for Xbox One, you're good to play it again on Xbox Series X with the new frame rate and the new graphics and you don't have to pay for it twice. So that's dope and that's great because that is a highly anticipated game for us and it got pushed back and I know we're all kind of upset about that still. But, you know, we'll get it and it'll be good, I'm sure. Um... <clears throat> So that's 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 awesome. That was great news when I saw that. Um, CD Projekt Red tweeted about it. They were just like, "No, really, you shouldn't have to pay for it twice." I hope it's not a cover up because they're like, "Damn, we pushed it back. We're supposed to make changes, and the changes didn't make any difference." So this is our this is our uh, apology. <laughs> oh, that's not the case. But I don't think it is. I think Cyberpunk 2077 will hold up and will be good. The only questions that I have about this is that. When you do that, if that's the case, or obviously if you're getting a new system and you're playing on a new system now, the one thing is that I don't think your data will transfer over. It could though, because on like PlayStation, like there's online data. So 
that would be awesome if you had if the data could transfer over to the next system like let's say you started playing cyberpunk 2077 on xbox one but you didn't finish it and then xbox series x comes out and you get xbox series x you install it using the smart delivery without having to pay extra and but you don't want to start from the beginning you know like hopefully but i mean if you're really liking the game or you're really enjoying it you probably won't care too much but you know that would be nice if if the data could transfer over if it doesn't either way it's still nice to not have to pay twice for the same game and the last thing i'll leave y'all with is you know i was reading this article <clears throat> on forbes and they were talking about how there's really no console race between microsoft and sony and they were basically saying that microsoft is kicking sony's ass in the sense that they're just ahead of them by so much more and we know microsoft is a software company and sony is a lot more of a hardware com like company you know in the sense that they they have TVs and systems and you know things of that nature uh, more so than uh, computers you know more so than their so more so than their software Microsoft kind of does both you know I don't know it's something to think about because I'll probably make a video about that too and they're saying there's no console race because Microsoft is not even trying to because they're so far ahead of like the curve like they already know what's coming later for people as gamers and anything else with that matter where it comes to watching things or playing things that they're just like we're gonna end up kicking you off the map with like game pass and so you guys need to tell me if you feel like this smart delivery actually backs that statement up um i kind of think it does in some way shapes or form but I don't know. I don't want to see Sony go anywhere. I love Sony. Um, I love both. So hopefully, we will get that, and it'll you know it'll 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 be pimping. You know what I'm saying? Recap. Xbox One. You buy a game on Xbox One. You buy it. You, you don't have to buy it on Xbox Series X when it comes out. You get it. All you have to do is install it on your Xbox Series X. It's probably going to be through your account or profile, which is awesome. The problem, the catch is that it's probably going to have to be a digital copy, and not every company is going to agree to make their games compatible with this feature. So you probably won't get every game like that, but most will be because Microsoft, all of their exclusives will. Halo Infinite, Gears 5, whatever else they have, like <laughs> they'll they'll make it so it's compatible with that. Cyberpunk 2077 CD Projekt Red has already said it's a thing for CG for Cyberpunk 2077 they're definitely making it compatible with this smart delivery so if you buy Cyberpunk 2077 on Xbox One the digital copy you do not have to buy it again on Xbox Series X um, and you know it's lit uh, I'm gonna catch y'all later I hope y'all enjoyed this you feel me hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed doing this Hope you enjoyed watching it. And I'm going to catch up next time. You feel me? Um, AG? She used to work in kindergartens on a Monday. Only get the club on Saturday and Sunday. I used to pull up every week. You should have seen her. The way she got it, nobody can do it clean up. I seen her in a suit for my birthday. And I can tell you the reason it's the third day. Love mama get in here, you know, on the first day. Love mama get in here, she fit the school in the gym into a work day. I'm strong, she got me doing the dishes. I didn't get down when the clip was to an extension. You're so bad, yeah. You're so vicious. I'm so glad that you're not his chick. She wanted a nigga, got the right one. I wanted a she looking like fun. You know what me, baby, it's been a night. Uh, Face saying I'm slow.